What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be going over the top five teams to rebuild in Madden 25 franchise mode. Before we get started with the list, a couple of things. First, if I sound a little quieter, I'm sorry. I'm recording this super late at night, so I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. Secondly, the list that I put together is a little bit different. I, I base things off of certain criteria for my own, my own list. Some teams that you think are supposed to be on this list might not be on this list for a few reasons. You know, whether that's the amount of veterans on the team, the cap situation, um, some of the, the young nucleus that's there, if I deem it's too many players that are already there. Um, and some of them where maybe the first couple of seasons, you just really can't do anything, right? So I went with a little bit of an approach where I want to have teams in here that need work, but I also wanted to have teams that you can have fun with, not just teams that are going to be a headache to fix. There are, of course, a couple that are going to be a headache to fix, but there's a one, I'd say one or two teams in here that you're going to be like, I didn't really think about this team, but I actually like it. It makes sense. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the list. It's been a while since I did one of these. I think it was last year that I did my last top five teams to rebuild. And I'm happy to be back to doing it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the first team. All right, and our number five team is going to be the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints are a team that are in a very bad spot right now, which is why they're at number five. They made the list because they are in a bad spot. And obviously a rebuild is on the horizon for this team. But... You are not going to be able to do anything with this team probably for the first two years because as you can see their cap space during this season is 7.95 million and next year their cap room is negative 31 at this point and you have some pretty big names that you'll have to decide on before you can even get to the offseason. So right off the bat the first two seasons you are pretty much stuck with a team that has a lot of aging older veterans like Mario Davis, Tyron Matthew, Cameron Jordan, Alvin Kamara, and then you also have you have a few guys that are very important to this team, and they're, you're not going to be able to re-sign them. Chase Young, for instance, big find for the Saints. Uh, Paulson Adebo, two very young pieces of this team right here that you might not be able to bring back because you just don't have the cap space for. And then looking at the rest of the roster, you don't have a quarterback. I mean, you have Derek Carr, but... I mean, he's 33 years old. We know what Derek Carr is. You have Spencer Rattler as your quarterback, too, and as your potential future quarterback. And if you want to take that on as a, as a project, hey, more power to you. But to me, this team needs a quarterback, and you need one soon. The running backs are all just blah. Alvin Kamara is not what he used to be. Jamal Williams is a touchdown taker. We saw that from his time with the Lions. And he is 29 years old. He is not a viable number one. James Robinson has been bouncing around the league for the last three years after having one breakout season and then nothing else afterwards. The lone bright spot on offense is Chris Olave. Like, he's the only person on this offense that I'm like, wow, this could be something really interesting. You do have another piece or two, like A.T. Perry, 6'5", 205, young receiver. Bub Means, you know, you have some players you could try to develop. But overall, this whole offense is going to need a rebuild. You don't have a solidified spot at the tight end position, whether that's for the future or for the current. Jawan Johnson's a fine, I'd say, number two tight end, but he's definitely not a starter. You do have some key pieces along the offensive line already in place. Ramchek, of course. You have Braxton Jones, Elise Fuaga. I'm sure I said that wrong. But you do have some bright spots along the offensive line, which means that you don't have to put all of your time and effort into that. But then this defense, I mean, you have Cameron Jordan, and Chase Young. Young, his contract is up this year. Cameron Jordan needs to retire yesterday. And outside of that, you really don't have a lot of even young players. Brian Breesey is like probably the best younger prospect you have on this team. So there's going to be a lot of work to do and you don't have any money to do it. So you're going to be sitting there for two years trying to work your way through this and, you know, come out with a, with a good team at the end. So that's why I have met number five. They're definitely a huge project. They're probably the biggest project in all of Madden 25. And like I said, I did this list a little bit differently. I didn't want to just place the absolute worst team with the worst situation at the top of the list because that's too easy to do. 
you want to also be able to have fun and honestly i don't think a lot of people are going to have fun with this rebuild because there's going to be so much work and so much waiting around and trying to work through the cap so for that reason they are number five Our number four team is going to be the carolina panthers so we're going to stay in the nfc south and rightfully so the panthers are another team that are are really in the need of a rebuild and you have a lot of question marks on some of the players that you have in the building right now specifically the quarterback bryce young you will, you will not have a lot of cap space to work with in the first season, but it will open up to $62 million at the end of the season. And there's not a whole lot of younger core players that are up for re-signing. It's more of the aging veterans that you might not even want to bring back anyway that are up for contracts. So you might even be able to save yourself some more money and end up with even a bigger pot to spend in free agency. But the biggest question is going to be, is Bryce Young the answer? He's young enough. He's at a 74, so he's not too down on the overall list to make it seem like it's too late to try and, and work with them. And when I say these things, some guys, I remember last year, some guys had a problem with me saying this stuff about certain players. I am not saying Bryce Young as in the real person. Bryce Young is in the real person has another three years where he could step up and end up being a, a franchise quarterback. But what I'm talking about, how Madden works its system with, a, with regression and progression, and also how their age affects that how their development trade affects that and how easy it is for them to lose it. So when I'm talking about, is he have enough time to develop? That is what I'm referring to. I'm not talking about real life. That's a whole different topic of conversation, but can Bryce young at 23 74 overall and with star development, which he's going to have to try to hold on to as best as possible. can he develop into that quarterback you're looking for? If so, he's a very exciting player. Right, I think he can still be good. If you give him some time, he's got some good speed. He has some good attributes to start with. I think he can be the answer for you, but maybe you're not a fan of him. Outside of Bryce Young on the offensive side, I am a fan of what they have right now at running back. I feel like Jonathan Brooks could be sort of a, a really key piece to your rebuild. If you sort of could lean on the run game a little bit, considering you do have a couple of nice pieces like Equano on the line, along with Damian Lewis, you have Austin Corbett, Robert Hunt, and Taylor Moten. So yes, you will need to bring in some your younger players for the offensive line. But at this point right now, you could really rely on your running back in Jonathan Brooks to try and see if he can turn into something. And at wide receiver, I'm sort of liking what they have for the future. Deontay Johnson and Adam Thielen, great receivers at some point. At this point, it's they're just not they're just not them anymore. But you have Xavier Leggett. I'm sure I'm sure I said that wrong. Leggett. Um Harris Marshall, Jonathan Mingo. That's three young receivers that you could potentially build up and create a really good three-headed monster at wide receiver for your young quarterback and your running back. But while this team needs a rebuild, you also have some pieces already in place that as long as you put the work in, you can turn them into some viable options for. And then over on the defense, the defense just really isn't there. Derek Brown is really the, the one bright spot on this defensive line. At the second level, Clowney, he's 31. Jack Thompson is 30, and then DJ Wanham over here. So really, outside of J.C. Horn on defense, you don't have really anybody that is set in stone here in Carolina. And even your safeties are aging at this point. Jordan Fuller could be around for a few years, but he's definitely not a long-term solution. And when I mean long-term, I'm talking like four or five years. So essentially, this team is a blank slate for you outside of a few key pieces on offense, and that's whether or not you want to roll with Bryce Young, but I think that the running back is set, and I think you do have some good receivers that you can build up while you wait for the rest of this team to come around, and by the time you're done with it, you could have a really good team. And that's why I have them at number four. I'm actually a really big fan of the Panthers this year. I have the Denver Broncos as my number three team to rebuild in Madden 25, and not only do you have brand new uniforms to, to rock with, I'm not a big fan of their uniforms. I honestly like their older ones better, but maybe they'll grow on me. But at this point, I'm just not a fan. But hey, you might like them. You might think they're awesome. You have a new uniform set to work with. But outside of that, this team has no identity. There really isn't anything that you can look at and say, this is what this team is. Bo Nix drafted this year. He could be a potentially good uh, quarterback. But again, same with Bryce Young. He's 24, a 72 overall. He is hidden development, but chances are it's going to be a star. Do you want to roll with Bo Nix or do you try to bring in your own? You have that option. At the running back position, though, you are sort of set right now, unless you decide to move on. Javante Williams is up for contract this year, but he has been very good in the past with a couple of injury concerns. 
Jaleel McClellan is another guy that I like. He played well last year for uh, for the Broncos. Um, so maybe you want to build up there or you want to restart. Wide receiver, though, I mean, you have Marvin Mims Jr., and then that's pretty much it. Everybody else can be placed. Troy Franklin was just drafted this year, so obviously that's a work in progress for you to work with. But Tim Patrick, Portland Sutton, I just don't see them being viable for the long haul. And Sutton already at 28. He's going to start regressing soon because wide receivers, they tend to regress a little bit earlier than other positions. You don't have an answer at tight end. You have a 40-year-old Mercedes Lewis. Yes, Mercedes Lewis is still in the NFL, if you did not know. I forgot about that. So you might be looking at this cap space and you're thinking, wow, it's 2.18 million. Not very good. But when you look at what the cap room is next year, you have over $100 million to play with. And not that many key pieces that are up for re-signing either. I mean, I would consider a couple of these guys just to keep around as, as filler players or bridge players while you build up the rookies you bring in or the new players you trade for or sign. But overall, you don't have a ton of players that need a brand new contract right now. So you'll be able to spend, trade, do whatever you need to do in the offseason to bring in the players that you want. And you are going to need it because this defense is in a very, very rough spot. I mean, 76 is across the board. This team is filled with a bunch of players that are like between 75 and 79 overall that are between 25 years old and 28 years old. You don't have a clear-cut future prospect in almost any position on the front seven. You could try and get something out of Benito still, but has that ship sailed already? Who knows? Jonathan Franklin Myers is not the guy that he was in Madden's past. And then one of the main things that has me really excited about the Broncos this season for rebuilding is that you have Patrick Sertan the second PS2 who will either be an immediately incredible player for you and hold down your corners while you bring the rest of your defense along or he could also be an absolutely tremendous trade piece for you if you are looking to just get as many draft picks as possible and build your own team and your own identity that's your choice which one do you want to do I mean honestly depending on the situation both are a viable option could trade him now he's a 97 he's only 24 years old you could probably get yourself set up for the next two or three drafts in madden and be able to really change a lot of things in a short amount of time so because of the uncertainty everywhere the team just not really having an identity at any position and then the players you do have either getting to that point of tipping over to the regression side or maybe guys that like javante williams that just haven't had a good couple of years and maybe have a bad taste in your mouth about them this whole team could really use a, a do-over, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And because of that, and because of the all of the money that they have, I have them as number three. And our number two team is going to be the Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, the Raiders. This team is just as bad as the Broncos, if not worse. The one good thing is you're going to have cap right away, and you're going to have plenty of cap in the future. You will not have to worry about waiting a season to start making some moves. And you do have a few pieces that you can rely on in the short term and potentially the long term, like Max Crosby. He is going to be around for a long time. You have him on a three-year deal. He's only 27. Christian Wilkins was just brought in. He will be a key piece on your defense. But anywhere else you look, this team is in dire need of a replacement. Gardner Minshew is not a quarterback of the future. Aiden O'Connell, he needs to leave. You don't have an answer at running back. Alexander Madison is good as maybe a number two as a fill-in, but he is definitely not a number one. Samir White, maybe as somebody you could work with, but not a whole lot of promise there. And at wide receiver, you have Devontae Adams, but how long left do you have with him? 31 years old. Yes, he's a 94, but he is counting a bunch of money on your cap right now. Maybe you decide to trade him early, take the cap hit since you have the cap room, and just move on and rebuild. But behind him... There's really nobody outside of maybe Trey Tucker that I'd be even interested in. And Deontay Hardy's like, I think he's 5'7". Jacoby Myers, yeah, he'll be serviceable for a year or two, but he's not a number one. This whole group needs a reworking. And the really fun part about it, what do you want to do with this whole situation? Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer, you have two very good young tight ends that you can morph around. Maybe you want to put Bowers in the slot, make him more of a receiver, leave Mayer in, at, at the actual tight end position. Who knows? Maybe you want to use one as trade bait, but you have two tight ends, which you don't see too often in this day and age with the NFL, having two quality tight ends who honestly, despite their overall not adding up to what these guys are, might be your best targets out of the entire team. 
obviously I'm not referring to Devonte Adams is worse than those guys as a target. I'm talking about longevity here. I'm talking about rebuilding here. Okay. So sometimes I'm going to say things that aren't exactly in the here and now. And then I mentioned your defensive line being somewhat okay. You have Max Crosby, you have Malcolm, is it Conse? Conse? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Conse? I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. Uh, but, and then Christian Wilkins. So you probably need to bring somebody in, but you have a quality D line. But outside of that, it is not looking pretty. This guy's a 65. Diablo's a 75. And Spillane is an 80 at 28 years old. He's up for contract. Uh, even the corners, I mean, Nate Hobbs, yes, he's decent. He's up for contract, but outside of that, I, it's it's looking pretty bleak. You have some guys that you could potentially try to build up like Jacorian Bennett and the Camarian Richardson, but you need to bring in some corners, you need linebackers, and you're going to need safeties, at least for the free safety. Trav Trayvon Morig is going to hold it down at strong safety for you, so that's maybe like a third piece along with Crosby and Wilkins. But other than that, the whole team is going to need a facelift. So that's why I have them at number two. And this is why. So you might wonder why they at number two, right? They are not as much of a mess as maybe some of the other teams that I could have had here. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of these teams have young quarterbacks in place already. A lot of these teams have very big cap issues. This team has neither of those. They have no quarterback on the roster that is a long-term option, and they do not have any cap situation issues with current year or the year after. And because of that, this could be more of a fun build, right? You won't have to try and work around cap issues or try and use a player because you think you have to, like you do with Denver or Carolina first. You can just bring on who you want, and you won't have a lot of limitations money-wise in order to do so, which is why I have them at number two. And if you thought that was surprising, wait until you see my number one team. I think some of you are going to probably be mad at me in the comments for this, but I will explain my reasonings for this very shortly. My number one team is the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, the Arizona Cardinals I have as the number one team to rebuild in Madden 25. And you might, like I said, you might think this is crazy. You might already be typing your angry message to me in the comment section about how I don't know what I'm talking about and you know, all that and whatever. But I did this for a reason, okay? When you're doing a rebuild, you're doing it to have fun. You're doing it to enjoy yourself, to be creative. And the Cardinals give you that opportunity, right? Because they have a lot of money right now, 31 million. They have a lot of money next year, over a hundred million, just like the Raiders. You have an aging, and yes, I will say it, aging quarterback. He's 27, he's a scrambler. Those guys are not gonna last until 35, 36. So maybe you can turn them into something more, but Kyler Murray is already 27. He's gonna be going on 28. He's on a big contract, but you have an exciting quarterback to use. You can run around and make some crazy plays with him. You have an actual young running back in Trey Benson that you can that you can build up. It, don't even bother with James Conner. Sorry, Conner, but Benson is going to be the future of this team in Madden anyway. Um, who knows what the, the actual world holds, but right now, I'm rocking with Trey Benson. And then let's not forget that they drafted one of the most exciting rookies in the entire draft, Marvin Harrison Jr. You can try and make him to be the next Randy Moss or the next Marvin Harrison. <laughs> you know, like you're going to have a lot of fun with this team. They also have a stud at tight end and Trey McBride. And you still do have a spot you have to rebuild. You can have fun on offense all you want, but you're going to be you're going to be in a lot of shootouts because this defense needs some help. They have a very, very poor looking defense. Darius Robinson could be a, a bright spot in the future. He was just drafted, of course. Defensive tackle needs to be reworked. The linebacking core is not really anything that I'm excited about whatsoever. The one bright spot, can you turn BJ Ojolari into a good player? And then the corners. You have Max Melton, Elijah Jones, Garrett Williams, Etrell Clark. You have a young group of corners that you can try to either trade away for some more picks, build up yourself, whatever you need. And then you have Jalen Thompson on the back end and Buda Baker. Both of them, though, I mean, Baker is good. 90 overall. He's an excellent safety, but he is 28. He's also on the last year of his contract. You try to trade him for some extra fun uh, draft capital or something like that. But I honestly think that the Cardinals might be one of the more fun teams for people to use this year. Are they the most rebuild needy team? No. 
but are they going to be the team that might be the most fun right away and in the long term yes there's some exciting pieces here and that's why i put them as number one this it's, it's sort of backwards right the saints are the biggest mess they're at number five because it's not going to be as fun and this is the top five teams to rebuild and that doesn't need to be the biggest mess to clean up it just has to be what i think is going to be the more most fun for you guys to enjoy so yes it's a little different but this is the list i have we have the cardinals the raiders the broncos the panthers and the saints there were a couple of others that were on my list right um like right off the top of my head i can think of three of them giants patriots vikings uh titans um seahawks were uh, behind those teams but they were up there there are plenty of teams for you guys to rebuild not everybody's gonna agree with my list and that's okay but i hope that you guys use this list and maybe it'll help you make the decision on which team that you want to go ahead and use right away when you get madden 25 let me know down below what if you decided to use one of these teams and if you're having fun with them or let me know which team you decided to go with and why i was wrong for not putting them on my list but regardless thank you so much for watching before you leave if you could hit that like button subscribe if you have not already and turn on that bell notification i will see you guys next time